Hi, this is Rob Clues with Z-Track Distribution, and I'm here with Hans Ritterwald, Robert Albrighton, and David Wolf, and we're going to be talking a little bit today about our May updates. It's been a couple months since we did our last video update, so it's time to catch everybody up on some of the projects that we're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Robert right away and let him kick this off. Okay. Hey, thanks, Rob. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of fun stuff to talk to you about. Uh, you know, winter is over. COVID seems to be lifting and it's getting to be hot as can be outside. I don't know where you are. And to me, that means that train season is good for another good three months. So we've got tons of things that we've been working on, tons of new products, stuff that we're really excited to talk to you about. Uh, two new locos we're going to talk to you about today. Uh, not new necessarily, but but new updates for them. Uh, the first one is the switcher, and I'm going to hand that one over to Hans and let him kind of give us an update on where we are. Hey, Rob. Uh, greetings from Norway. We are um, switchers. Re really exciting at the moment because we're now very close to seeing final artwork on uh, on the switcher applied to the locomotives. I posted the artwork on the forum, but now I'm shifting through the actual colors and that's always interesting. And um, if, if you can do bear me with me for the moment, I'm going to pick up my phone and I have a little display to show you. Okay. I don't know if you can see this or if it, it might be an echo since I'm using both a computer and the phone. But here is kind of what it, everything looks like. You see the sprue with the actual uh, parts for the switchers. Uh, you see a running locomotive. And what you're seeing in the back here are all the colors that we're going to use. Not the artwork, but the colors that we're using on our switchers. Now, some of them are wrong. And that's why we're doing this process. And uh, our factory got about two thirds correct and the rest will have to be changed. And uh, also packaging, we're gonna be using the small box as we did with the Alco RS3s. And uh, the question everyone is asking, when are they coming? I'm expecting August, maybe September. September probably. So um, uh, it's a nice running locomotives. We haven't had much trouble with it. So uh, there are no real hiccups. It's just to get a slot time after we agree on colors, art, final artwork. And these guys should be production ready and hopefully delivery September sometimes. Very exciting stuff. And uh, so that's what I have on the switchers at the moment and uh, uh over to you rob hey thanks so these they, they are really neat i think you've seen, we've shown them to you before uh fabulous little locomotive uh, i think some folks on the forum have mentioned uh the possibility of a dcc solution and we're going to work on that um i know promises yet this is it this it's tiny i mean there's my finger there's the loco you you get the idea uh, so last time around, we did it. We had a whole bunch of things and we were talking about the, the Super Chief and I was showing you some examples of that last time I was here. Rob uh, and Hans did one on their own. They were somehow allowed access to video equipment without me. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it did. And I was pulling things out of a box and I happened to pull something out and I went, ah, and I put it back away because no one was ready to quite talk about it yet. And it was this guy. Um, the PA1 in plastic, uh, which is a really cool deal. So I'm going to toss it back to Hans because uh, he is master of the PA1, has been since we did it in brass, or he did it in brass a long time ago. Uh, and this is I, this is going to be a really fun project. So I'm going to I'm going to toss it right back to Hans again for the PA1. Well, no big surprises on that one. I um, uh, yeah, really happy, extremely excited to be back on track with the PA1 and the PB1. As Rob said, we had those guys um, as brass units. I think it was late 1990s. I mean, time is just flying here. So, well, railroads, basically all of them. Oh, forgot a very important item. We forgot to mention the brother. And uh, let's see, here he is. Is the PA2, very important. 
And everybody knows I'm a Southern Pacific fan and uh, that's kind of why we're making it. Uh, so how far are we into development? Very far actually, we started uh, this locomotive almost on the heel on the RS3s. So it's just been sitting there, uh, um, but I'll show you one of, you know, some of our frustrations. This is the, an original uh, mold and the cab looks really fancy and everything, but guess what? It's all wrong. So I don't know if you could see it, but we modified the whole cab area and this is the second shot from the factory and we're happy now. So that was one of the big delays we had. Of course, there, uh, the PAs were kind of, uh, the sign I didn't change very much. So you could get them with um, dynamic brake or without. Uh, some had snow plows, but and a couple of had, um, had um, yeah, what else? There were some special uh, lights uh, for for the like the Southern Pacific unit, and I think the um, Del uh, the Santa Fe also had its own. We're making all of that, so don't don't panic. Um, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back to my um, uh, cell phone and see if I can find uh, a PA that's actually up and running. I'm just going to carry the computer over. And I don't know what you guys are seeing. There we go. We can see it there. It's perfect. It's working. Yep. I'm going to pin it. So this has been running about 30 minutes at the moment. And uh, what else is there to say about the PA? Well, guess what? It's great for Santa Fe Super Chief. My God, did they run those. And don't forget, we have the California Zephyr. And guess, next to the F units, what was pulling uh, through the Rockies? This fantastic train, yes, it was the PAs from Denver Rio Grand Western. So um, with our name trains, uh, fantastic stuff. And uh, I don't know what else there is to say about the PA. If you guys haven't seen this book, buy it, read it, enjoy it. It's fantastic. It tells you all about the PAs. And Lastly, back to the uh, railroads, we're trying to do most of them. I don't think we'll get into the Brazilian and Mexican units, but basically everything else we'll, we'll do. And like New Haven, I think had three different paint schemes and Santa Fe had a few. Uh, then Maria Grand Western had three. So we'll, we won't get super crazy probably for the first run, but you know, this is, uh, uh, so, uh, and it's a very, very colorful locomotive. So it's really gonna lighten up your layouts. But uh, you know, there was another name train that this locomotive did pull, Rob. I know there was another one. Uh, that's true, that's true. That, that's absolutely, yeah, you, you caught me here, a little coffee break, sorry. Um, that is true. So. Hans is a big fan of the Southern Pacific, and he has a two-decade start on me on making Southern Pacific units. I'm a Santa Fe guy, and I'm catching up, but I'm trying to do it in style. So, first of all, thank you very much for supporting the Super Chief. It's been a, it's been a big success for us. Uh, sorry we didn't order enough F units. We took care of that. Uh, about a couple of weeks ago, I had uh, Cargo Lux dropped off in my driveway, two pallets of F units. It was a ridiculous sight. Uh, they're on their way out to dealers now. I think you can go get them. We were going to make sure we will not have a surge of that boat ever again. It took us a little while. Um, apparently, U.S. Customs looked at the manifest and they said there is no way that there are that many people who want a Z-scale uh, F unit in Santa Fe war by it. And so they proceeded to open like half the packages and it, it, it fortunately it didn't damage a the thing. They were the nicest customs people I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, we finally got them. We got them through. Rob is testing them. I think he's got them announced. Lots of new road numbers. I think we're up to five different road numbers on the ABBA set and, and surprise, we may have a couple more to come. 
because there was another train that went along with Super T that ran on the same schedule. Uh, it was, uh, you're going to know what I'm talking about here. Uh, it was the coach alternative and it was, yep, you got it. The El Capitan. And so we're making, we're making the El Capitan and actually it's, it is darn close to being ready. Uh, I've got, uh, we've got running samples of it right now. There are a couple of tweaks we have to make on it. Not, I don't think they're going to be too such a big deal. Uh, this is going to come as a, uh, geez, I have to count now here. It's a massive set. It's actually bigger than the, uh, it's, it's going to wind up being bigger than the Super Chief set here. Uh, but we're talking about, uh, let's see, two, four, uh, 11 car set in the basic, a two car add-on. Uh, it's going to include uh, the transition uh, uh, coach, the one with a hump on it. Uh, it's going to include a baggage car. It's going to include the step-up coach up to the bi-level, bi-level coach. Uh, we're talking about a diner with a special truck. It's got the three-axle truck on it, so it's correct on that. Uh, we've got the lounge car. So, um, you know, if you enjoyed the Pacific Parlor car from the Amtrak Starlight, this is your chance to do an accurate repaint because we've done all the tooling for you. That car is included. Uh, that car ran up until very recently on the Coast Starlight. Uh, it's a fabulous thing. Uh, and then we've also got the step back down uh, transition coach with the drum head on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to be lighted or not. They've done it in transparent plastic. So there's, there's the possibility you might be able to uh, uh, scoot an LED up in there. We're not going to do that part, but you might be able to do it. Um, so let me come with me. Let's go take a little walk. Uh, we're going to, we're going to go through the shop and uh, I may have, uh, and, and uh, we'll go see what we're looking at here. And so I may have John edit this little walk around out because it looks like hell walking around with a cell phone. So uh, let's see, where is it? Here we go. Here we go. And I may actually, Let's see. Can, eh, I think I have to do it like this. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this. What you got there is you've got your standard Super Chief lineup. There's your step up car for the El Capitan. Coaches, coaches, uh, you're looking at the diner there, lounge car, step back down. And we're running this as the combined uh, Super Chief El Capitan, which they would do kind of during the off seasons. Uh, this is a massive train. Uh, we've had this running around now for, I would say, probably about 20, 30 hours. It is a tank. Uh, this thing just keeps on going and going and going. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a really cool project for us to work on. A um, couple other fun things uh, for you guys to know. There is, there's also an add-on set for the Super Chief. But we actually made uh, some earlier Santa Fe uh, passenger cars to go with it. They were the Shadow Line cars. And I'll show you one of those, how they compare up next to it. Um, those were actually, uh, that, that's authentic shadow lines on the left. And then, um, the super chief add-ons on the right. Uh, those were smooth sides where Santa Fe actually painted, uh, the equivalent of the fluting onto the car. And they really did that. So they would keep a constant look to the train. So, so we did that as well. Um, it was, you know, a lot of fun for us to kind of work on that project. Uh, we're over here in the big shop here that we use for our, our DC club. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on around here. A couple other things I want to I want to show you while we're here. Uh, we've mentioned that we're working on something, a project called the AZL Labs. Um, this got named because I had a 3D printer down in the basement, and somebody came by to visit one day, and they said, "My God, it looks like Frankenstein's lab," and the name stuck. Uh, and so out of that, we're doing a whole bunch of cool little projects. Our goal with this is really to try new concepts give you guys the opportunity to give us feedback on what we're working on, um, you know, tweak some ideas here and there. We can't do unlimited kind of stuff, but we can try some neat things. So I think we mentioned before, we've got this little solid coupler that we're playing with. That's pretty neat. And something else I'm happy to tell you about, uh, I, I, always, I like to draw bar the trains together. So we've actually created uh, uh, draw bars. Uh, I don't know if you can see them there. That's a full pack of them as they come off the 3D printer. They are perfectly sized for the Super Chief. We're going to make these available to anybody who wants them. Just uh, get a hold of Z-Track Distribution. They will send them to you. They're, they're not that expensive for us to make. We're happy to kind of support our customers with fun little things. Uh, but there's lots of things that we can do with this. So another project that we've been playing with here uh, that kind of want to show you guys is actually we try uh, occasionally a full new car to work with. And I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, these are Automax uh, articulated uh, auto transports. Uh, they're 3D printed. It's a long, long, long car. 
Uh, they're equipped with our trucks. They run great. We've had them running around the layout for some time now. Uh, and so this is another idea or concept we're kind of working with. We'll post some more pictures. We're really curious to see if you guys like this, if this is kind of something that you would want to buy, if you would want us to produce it. These are just prototypes. They probably come out differently when we send them off to the factory and they get tooled for real. Uh, but it's just a chance for us to kind of play with stuff and, and see what's going on here. Um, uh, just, uh, and for those of you European fans, we haven't left you out. I've been working on a few things for my own layout, um, uh, which you can see there. I hope you can see it. That's uh, an articulated uh, European uh, container car. Uh, like all European cars, they don't have a name. They have a code. So that's a SDGGMRSS. Say that 10 times fast. I feel like I'm doing an S uh, uh, Sesame Street all of a sudden. Um, so these are kind of some of the fun things that we're working on for you guys to kind of see coming up. Now, uh, Dave Wolf is here with me. He's a member of our local club. And the, the noise that you've heard behind me is Dave is, uh, is a wizard with sound. And what Dave's been able to do is he's been able to pack full sound units into AZL locomotives. Uh, and I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, but the lights, the sound, it's fantastic. I mean, these things run, you know, like you wouldn't believe. Uh, they're, they're louder than HO. Uh, we take them to shows. People are just shocked and amazed. We'd love to figure out a way to do this in a, in a production way. I think that's going to be a long way off for us. Uh, but one day we'd like to figure out how to do it. Um, but quite frankly, Dave's work is, is, is great. Dave's here with us. Uh, he's gonna, we're going to write up a couple of uh, uh, things for him on how you can do this at home. Uh, we're going to put them in Z-Track Magazine. There's another good reason to subscribe. Uh, but uh, quite frankly, we, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on around here. Uh, so I'm going to toss it back uh, to Rob. I think maybe he can, he can help close this out. And um, then we may come back with a, we may come back later on with a surprise announcement later on. We're not sure yet. We're going to, we're going to talk it amongst ourselves and figure it out. Rob, what do you got? I mean, geez, oh man, you guys are killing me. I mean, we have been test running ABBA sets here for a week straight. I, I think Anne's gone stir crazy with how much silver and red she's seeing in front of herself right now. She's uh, unpacking it, QCing all the engines, but uh, I'm telling you, this is just late May. It's it's an exciting time, and uh, we're going into summer, but we are not slowing down. So um, I want to thank everyone today for your time. Enjoy the video. Uh, keep up with the uh, AZL forum. We're going to have updates and more information posted out there as releases start coming out. And uh, that's about it. Enjoy the weather. Play with your trains, and we'll be back soon.